That's it. Shake hands. Sorry for the delay, but at 6.30 our time. 6.30 our time. And the opening match of the 10th Columbia 300 Vienna go. Open starts now. I must ask Sean what he what he did now. <laughs> it would be funny if he just send a short message to Zach. <laughs> I'm going to bowl now. I'm going Please to bowl now. Don't call. <laughs> For those familiar with the European bowling tour, we have different rules here in regard to uh, the preparation of the ball surface because it is a World Bowling Tour event. World Bowling Tour beats European Bowling Tour, so they can they can do that between the games. Make a little surface adjustments if they need to. Yep. After each game. Sean Rash, the lefty. <laughs> Come around. No. Okay. So the next ball will count. Now we're ready. We are ready. For the first match between the number three seed, reigning PBA player of the year, Sean Rash, and number four seed, one time PBA champion, Stuart Williams of England. And here we go. Ooh. Saw a few of those this week. Yeah. Solid eight. He threw it already harder this week than the first one. Yeah. Well, it was really... Easy spare for Stuart. And now Sean. Five-time champion. Won the Tournament of Champions last season, which gave him an edge over Jason Belmonte in the and, and Mike, Mike Fagan yeah. in the PBA Player of the Year vote. Good shot. Got a temp in. <laughs> Looks like Stewart is opening up with a. Uh one of the new storm balls, the storm lucid. Yeah, and I think Sean has chosen to start out with the uh, look like the C system. So 2.5. You're you're a little ahead of us <laughs> in the United States in regard to bowling balls. Actually, you can go to the to bowling digital and come. You can reserve your storm lucid bowling oh. ball. Look at that. that. That's that's all. You can't get it right now. There it is. You can pre-order pre -order it. it. Yeah. Well, everybody will get to see how good it is. Work right together now. with the guys from Bowling Store, mm -hmm. and that's a chance to get that. Perhaps we can do that with Columbia 300 yeah. or Ebony Bowling Balls as well. So yeah. That tell, would be good. Tell the people I, back I, I in will. Hopkinsville. I will. Yeah. Hopkinsville and uh, Miss Bettina Lund, Ebony Europe. So. Bettina, yeah, she's yeah. a good friend. Yeah. yeah. Well, lefty from Denmark, pretty tough bowler. So you're giving, you're giving Sean some advice? You know, it was pretty funny. Uh, we were at the Tournament of Champions, and it was, a, it was a pretty, obviously, big event, being that Sean was there, Mike was there. Little disruption. Mm. Sean, Mike, and Jason all made the finals, and uh, Sean was the number one seed, so he was waiting, and he came over, and Mike had... had uh, 
been eliminating and asked, eh, where did Mike play? Did, did Mike try to play straight or hook it? And I said, uh, he tried to play straight. So Sean went out and decided to go the opposite way and did that. And after the fact, when he was talking about at the end, when he accepted the, the, the title, he had said, yeah, well, we all work together out here. Evan I, Brunswick, Columbia, Hammer. And I like Sean. No issues there. So two for Stuart Williams on this big split. Or two two eight ten. Gives Sean an early lead, of course. This is definitely nothing what you want. Give give Sean any chances. So Stuart should find a way to strike far to the right. Went too far down, left, missed the hip into the right, one and two. You will not win this game with spares. No. And it, it's a little bit hard because they have to throttle it back down. I mean, they just got done bowling on 12 games of, of pretty dry surfaces mm -hmm. when they were really having to hum it down there. Now you got fresh lanes and you're in the finals and so you got to throttle it back down and get the ball back to roll again. So. Mm -hmm. And as I said, 27, 28 are not the easiest lanes now. You did say that earlier, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no matter what, these guys are some of the best in the world, so... They'll figure it out. They have to figure it out. And I bet they will. Now, another 2A10. But we saw also some really great spec on the yes. this week. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the the four nine from Robert Anderson under pressure yep. in the in the in the last game. Gets one. Would help Stuart a bit, of course. Champion lead right now for Sean, but Bowes was an open. And Williams was a chance to level the match with a strike. That was a little better. Second strike on the left lane on 27. As you said, might be might be different. What what a challenge, shall we? Yeah, he was slower. Yeah, just there's a little amped up. You know, like like uh, I was saying, they bowled 12 games without any type of real oil, and with the rev rate that was out here, you know, they all were pretty left firing it. So it's it's a throttle down. Oh, just a little high. Yeah, a little height and to the left. So he was, just, too much. he was just saying that he was just More overthrew. More than he expected. Yeah. yeah, just overthrew that one on the right lane. So. Here are the scores. It sounds like it's rolling over the sun hole. The Vienna Open is the last gold tournament on the European Bowling Tour for this season. We have four categories. The premium, or the premier tournaments, only two of them, the Bunch of Gear Challenge and the Strike by Stewart. <laughs> Finally, yeah, I bet he hates this first strike in the, in the fifth frame. But... He has to calm down, do his job. So we have four categories. Premium, gold, silver and satellite. 
all different prize money. Uh, premier events must have one hundred thousand dollar prize fund. The gold tournaments at seventy five thousand, and that is necessary to have the one hundred thousand US dollar, which is necessary to become a world bowling tour event. Fifty thousand for the silver tournaments and 25,000 for the satellite tournaments. And there he, oh, that was a nice messenger for Sean. Yes. And you can see he, he didn't throttle on that one as much, so just let the ball roll, let it do what it was supposed to do. And doubled. So back in the lead. And a chance to put some pressure on Stewart if he strikes on the next one. Or oh, force Stewart to do the same. Throw a double in the next two shots. Oh boy. Oh, lucky break. Out of nine. <laughs> Could have been worse, so. <laughs> Gets the spare as expected. And it ends up to Stewart. Chance for him to take the lead. Mm. No, not enough. Leaves the two four eight. He has a nice slow motion of this shot, and you can see it just just a little too just far. Too light. Yeah, just too light. Spare. And from now on, it's it's almost a must strike situation for both. Yeah, you want to definitely put some pressure on your opponent and yep. not let up. Yeah. Like that camera angle? I, I like that one. Yeah, that's just the sitting on tiny of, camera. Sitting on the ball return. Amazing, there. yeah. That's a good one. Yes, yeah, and it's a try. strike for Stewart. second on the left lane now you know all you need to do is to figure out the right lane yeah players are having a little bit of trouble getting the ball to come back on that right lane which is a little unique to this week usually throughout the house the right lane has had a little bit more friction it seemed like and it's been a little bit sparkier off the spot down lane but uh, again back to the point that you made earlier 27 28 is not an easy pair Yeah, at least with the Columbia 300 above the mask. Yeah. So we, we know what is the challenge. Exactly. Reset. Yep. Yeah. 7,000 euro for the winner at stakes. Yeah. Make sure. A PBA title. A title on the European Bowling Tour. A title on the World Bowling Tour. So. Yeah, and points. I mean, 150 right. ranking points yeah. for for this one, as it's a gold tournament. That's the other difference besides the prize money. You get just more points for the higher value. Yeah. Strike for Sean. Uh, again, on the right lane. Yeah, I mean, with the rolling points for the two years, I mean, 
this is this is big for for Sean as far as points and I mean for all the players but I know Barnes can yeah it's 150 points you're right it's 150 points for the European bowling too but 50 points for because all all world bowling two events have the same uh, uh, get the same points right this is a penultimate tournament on the World Bowling Tour. There's only one left in Australia. Oh, and that's strong. another double for Rush. And as I said, must strike situation for, for Stewart now. His maximum score is 224. And that's actually what he needs yeah. to do. Looks like Put he's making a, a ball change to... Uh, the new Roto Grip Shatter, I believe that's the new one they have out. So, we'll see if this is, does the trick on this right lane. Fits perfectly by color to his shirt. It's coordinating. Yep. It definitely got oh. some more recovery. Just couldn't get that 10 pin out. No good for for Stewart. Gets the spare. <laughs> this is 184, and that's yeah. You definitely. Oh. Okay, yep. if he if he gets at least the 184, that forces Sean at least to do something. Right. Two spares would not be enough. Right. Keeps him honest. But that's the key. That's the foundation frame now for Stewart. He needs that one. He needs that one, and he gets it. Got that one. That's okay. Yeah. But of course, Sean can pretty much lock up the the match if he strikes. Yeah, strike here. Is but keep in mind, third frame. I don't want to jinx it, but they both had a had a big split yep. in this game already, and I, that can change everything. So it's not over yet. Yeah, I think Sean will be happy to get off this lane here. Last two shots on this lane boy strikes. Here's the wall. Oh and my yeah. god, and there's the change. There 8 10 makes it even worse. <laughs> so that's if, if he gets only one, it's 170. And Stuart. The strike up. Gets the 10 pin for 171. That's what I was saying. He wanted to get off that lane. Maximum score 201. And 204 for Stewart. 204. Need to put some pressure on him. Stewart's got to finish on that yeah, bad line. Yeah, this is how we like a tense frame. Here's the decision. Here is uh, number one for that one. Was pretty good. Good. That was his best ball, I think, yeah. in, in the whole match. <laughs> we can count on this. Cheers. But it's it's water, of it's course. Water. Yeah. Cheers. Usually they drink storm here. Yeah. Which is storm in 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 Austria, the early early wine. Okay. Storm means storm. Okay. So that's what they drink. Or of course Otto Kringer. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Almost a 510. Got the temp in. Yeah, and see that? He knows. That is really bad news for him. 
but still some work to do for Stewart Absolutely. to catch it. And Stewart's on that right lane, which has been the nemesis of everybody so far. Yeah. Okay, 191, 191, final score, and now Sean Rush has to sit and wait. What happens? It's not in his hands anymore. Stewart needs a strike to win. Yep. If he doesn't strike, we know the outcome. Sean is the lucky winner. <laughs> A must strike. This is a, a must little strike to advance, and he gets a damping. Atomic ring ten. That was his best oh, shot. That was the best line. shot yeah. by far. He doesn't get the ten pin, and that gives gives the. Yeah. Here's the slow motion. Look at this. Good shot. Put it right where it needed to be. Yep. Just ring um, ten around the six, ten pin. Six just went around there fast. And all he can get is 184. It's about the best you could throw it when you need it right there. No, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They just got the um, It's a 191-181 victory for Sean Rash. Yeah. <laughs> all smiles, of course, Sean. Yeah.